What's up, Buckeyes? The majority of betting sites have Georgia and Ohio State meeting in the championship, and I think that's popular public opinion. We're going to take a look at some of the sites that rank these two teams. We'll start with Bet and GM. They got Ohio State and Georgia at plus 350 odds. They're actually, they're the only one out there that has both of these teams even. Jump over here to Caesar Sportsbook. They got Georgia plus 300. Ohio State plus 400, and AS Dual Sportsbook has Georgia 300. BetMGM's John Ewing noted that a total of 41% of the money is going to Ohio State. So, so BetMGM, they're the only ones at about five, five to six major sportsbookies that have really Georgia and Ohio State even in this, and but Bet. MGM has the uh, majority of the money on Ohio State to win it. So it, it's hard to say what's going to happen because uh, these are all just came out in April. So we still have months and months, of course, you know, the regular season and playoffs, etc. But if, if everyone stays healthy, and basically when you look at these sports betting, they, they know what's going on. They know who's starting, they know who's healthy. That's when they come out. We're also going to take a look at this. I want to take a look at Georgia's schedule right here. Look, their first game is Clemson. I don't know if you remember a few years ago, Clemson and Georgia played, and Georgia barely won that game because DJ, you threw the interception return for a touchdown. They barely won that. So that's going to be a determining factor right there. This right here, let's scroll down here. So they got Clemson. Then they're going to play Alabama at Alabama. I expect Auburn to be a, a, a sweat game, sweat that one out. Mississippi State's going to be hard. Here's the kicker. They've got to travel to Texas. So between going to Alabama and Texas, and Ole Miss might break them a sweat also. So looking at who Ohio State plays, nobody, nobody, nobody. Michigan's not there yet. Iowa's not quite there yet. Okay, so we're, here we are. Oregon, Penn State, and Michigan. So Ohio State's got three teams that are going to make them sweat, even though Michigan won the championship and lost a starting QB and a coach. Michigan still has a lot of talent. Penn State, I expect them to be vastly improved. I think that Penn State is going to be the hardest game right there because right there, it's, it, it's in Pennsylvania. Of course, Oregon is going to be another hard game. That's in Oregon. So looking at this, you know, uh, Ohio State has a lot of cupcakes on their schedule. So I'm looking at this thing. I'm trying to figure out where, where, where are the challenges going to be at. I, you know, challenge is Oregon, Penn State, Michigan. And I also believe... Nebraska might be a little something sub here. The national championship is in Georgia. Remember when Georgia and Ohio State last played and Georgia won that game? Barely won the game by one point. It's at the same place. So is this redemption for Ohio State or is this more motivation for Georgia? Georgia's bringing back their QB. Ohio State has a new QB and it just really upgrade over you know Kyle McCord. It's, it's a little, his arm is not as strong as Kyle McCord, but he might be a little bit more upgrade. He could, he probably run a little more. He's bigger. He could probably take a pounding more. So it's that's you know th these sites, these three sites I just told you about. This is betting lines. This is now in April, so God knows you know anything can happen in the next several months. Of course, we'll check up on it. But majority of these uh, sports book booking sites have Georgia and Ohio State make it to the championship, and one of them winning it. So it's going to be very interesting. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.